Hey, and welcome back. This man changed the world. Boris Haglin. We've all heard of the German Enigma machine and how it was brilliantly cracked at Bletchley Park with Alan Turing and his team. But what we didn't know is that the US and the West had exactly the same type of encryption device. <laughs> In the 1940s, both Sweden and Switzerland were neutral. This guy, Boris Haglund, invented a crypto machine very much based on the Enigma machine the Germans were using and sold it to the Americans. At the end of World War II, Boris moved from his neutral Sweden to the other neutral country, Switzerland. For years, Switzerland has had two reputations. One for making money and turning a blind eye to where the money came from, and two, making extremely precise watches. In 1945, Haglund set up the company Crypto, in Switzerland. They built this, the CX-52. It's a beautifully made mechanical encoding device. You input real letters on one side, set dials and pins, turn the handle, and out comes a random letter. It works like this. Every day, agents in the field were given a code for the day. And what that code was, is how to set the rotors on their crypto device. When their message came in, they dialed in the code on the rotors, entered the secret message, turned the handle, and out popped the real text. It was effectively unbreakable because of the number of permutations. It was the industry standard crypto device around the world for generations. The Swiss firm Crypto made a fortune by selling these devices to all countries in the world. It was long suspected that the crypto machines were compromised, but nobody really knew for sure. In 1970, the US and Germany bought the crypto company and controlled its entire operation. It turns out that the CIA and the German BND had paid crypto invested in the company to make a backdoor method of breaking the codes. In a brilliant article in the Washington Post, it's now been revealed that all the time that foreign countries were using the independent secret crypto device, the CIA, and it's not been revealed if Britain was part of it, could read all the messages. US codebreaker William Friedman persuaded Hagelin only to sell his crypto machines to an approved list of US countries.
one of the biggest secrets revealed by the backdoor method of cracking the crypto code was how Argentina were going to invade the Falkland Islands and Britain knew their secrets. The other story that was cracked by the US having the backdoor key to the crypto machine was the Iranian hostage story in the 1970s. Interestingly and very revealing, there were two countries in the world that never use crypto machines. Russia and China. I guess they knew they were compromised.